name is Josephus Thompson III. I'm a poet, and Magnolia House is one of my favorite places to come and perform, and would like to eat every now and then. Today I'm reading Amazing Peace, a Christmas poem by Maya Angelou, illustrated by Steve Johnson and Lou Fancher. Thunder rumbles in the mountain passes, and lightning rattles the eaves of our houses. Floodwaters awake in our avenues. Snow falls upon snow, falls upon snow to, to avalanche. Over unprotected villages, the sky slips low and gray and threatening. We question ourselves, what have we done to so affront nature? We interrogate and worry God, are you there? Are you there really? Does the covenant you made with us still hold? Into this climate of fear and apprehension, Christmas enters. Streaming lights of joy, ringing bells of hope, and singing carols of forgiveness high up in the bright air. The world is encouraged to come away from rancor, come away of friendship. It is the glad season. Thunder ebbs to silence. And lightning sleeps quietly in the corner. Floodwaters recede to memory. Snow becomes a yielding cushion to aid us, and we, we make our way to higher ground. Hope is born again. In the faces of children, it rides on the shoulders of our age as they walk into their sunsets. Hope spreads around the earth, brightening all things, even hate, which crouches breathing in the dark corridors. In our joy, we think we hear a whisper, and the first is too soft, we only half heard. We listen carefully as it gathers strength, we hear a sweetness, the word is peace. It is loud now, louder than explosions of bombs. We tremble at the sound. We are thrilled by its presence. It is what we have hungered for. Not just the absence of war, but true peace. Our harmony of spirit, our comfort of courtesies, security for our beloveds and their beloveds. We clap hands and welcome the peace of Christmas. We beckon this is good season to wait a while with us. We, Baptists and Buddhists and Methodists and Muslims say, come. Peace. Come and fill us and our world with your majesty. We the Jew and Jainist and Catholic and Confucian Employ you to stay a while with us, so we may learn by your shimmering light how to look beyond complexion and see community. It is Christmas time, a halting of hate time. On this platform of peace, we can create a language to translate ourselves to ourselves and to each other. At this holy instant, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ into the great religions of the world. We jubilate the precious advent of trust. We shout with glorious tongues the coming of hope. All the earth's tribes loosen their voices to celebrate the promise of peace. We angels and mortals, believers and non-believers, look heavenward and speak the word aloud. Peace. We look at our world and speak the word aloud. Peace. We look at each other and into ourselves. We say without shyness or apology or hesitation. Peace, my brother. 
Peace, my sister. Peace, my soul.